and welcome to Storybook Engineering. In these videos, we are going to be reading storybooks and learning all about simple machines and doing some fun STEAM activities. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be reading a storybook for each lesson, and in each lesson, you're going to have a different simple machine that goes along with it, and you're going to find a way to use that simple machine to help that storybook character out. So let's get started. First, let's talk about what is a simple machine. The world around us consists of many shapes and tools. Many of these shapes can be broken down into what are called simple machines. Now, a simple machine is a basic mechanical device with few or no moving parts that, when applied by a force, complete a certain task. Now there are six main types of simple machines, and that is the incline plane, the wedge, the lever, the wheel and axle, the screw, and the pulley. All six of these simple machines are used in our everyday lives. First, let's start off with the incline plane. Some examples of incline planes could be ramps, sloped roads, or even in the winter time, those big snow plows. That's an example of an incline plane. Next up is the wedge. Some examples of wedges are axes, shovels, screwdrivers, chisels. Your teeth can even be counted as wedges. Then we got a lever. Some examples of a lever would be like a nutcracker or a stapler or tongs or even tweezers. Then we got our wheel and axle. And some examples of wheel and axle would be cars or roller blades or wheelbarrows or even a merry-go-round. Then is the screw. And an example of a screw would be like the top of a jar or the end of a light bulb or some screwdrivers and bottle caps also. And lastly, we have our pulley. And examples of pulleys would be elevators or wells or exercise equipments or even cargo lifts. So in this series of videos, we're gonna be talking about all those different types of simple machines and apply them to helping different storybook characters. But in this lesson today, we're gonna to talk about wedges. A wedge is a triangle shaped object with at least one slanted side ending in a sharp edge. And they're used to push two objects apart or to keep one object from moving. Now when a wedge is on its side and the force is applied to it, it can be pushed up underneath an object and keep it from moving, just like a doorstop does. Or it can also be used to scoop up objects, like a shovel. But it can also be used as a ramp. Now a double wedge is when two wedges are put together to form a triangle shaped object that is used to split two objects apart. Example of this type of wedge would be like your axe or your teeth. Your teeth also come to that kind of point on some of them and that is used to split uh, pieces of food apart when you chew. Alrighty, so now the story that goes along with this lesson is the gingerbread man. So go ahead and pause the video and enjoy reading your storybook. What a crazy story about the gingerbread man. Lesson learned, not to trust anyone without consideration, especially those sneaky foxes. Maybe we can change the gingerbread man's story and help him find a new way to cross the river with using our knowledge of simple machines. How about we use our knowledge of the wedge to help him create a device to fly over the river and away from those animals and people that think he's a tasty snack. Now I know something that's a wedge shape that might help him fly across the river. How about we make him a super cool paper airplane. So let's get started on today's activity and make your very own paper airplane to help the gingerbread man cross the river. Alrighty, for our first step for our activity today is you have to gather your materials. And the only materials you're really going to need today is you are going to need a piece of paper and some coloring materials if you want to decorate your plane. The next step is you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold it hot dog style. So you're going to fold it long ways and make a nice crease matching up those two edges so it'll look like this and then once you do that go ahead and open it back over so that you can see the crease down the middle so once you have that what you're going to do is you're going to take your corners and now match them into that center crease line so that it comes to a point like this so after you have those corners folded into that center line you're going to do it again with this corner folding inward like that And you're going to repeat it on the other side. So after you have your nice arrow like that, what you're going to do is you're going to fold your plane so the folds are tucked inward. So after your plane looks like this, what you're going to do is you're going to take each one of your wings and fold it over itself so it is doubled like this. And you're going to repeat it on the other side as well. And there you have it, your very own paper airplane. Now the shape of this plane being a wedge allows for it to cut through the airflow and allowing air to not only go over the top of the plane, but also catch underneath it, which allows it to soar through the air. 
This will be perfect for helping out the gingerbread man to fly over the river away from the sneaky fox and the others chasing him. So great job. Now the last step is to make sure to test out your paper airplane. So see how far you can get it to fly or even have a race with a family member or a friend um, to see who can get their paper airplane to fly the furthest. What you can also do is you can look up different ways to make paper airplanes online and see if there's a different way that would make your airplane go further. Have fun with this project and make sure to be creative. I'll see you again next lesson for some more fun with simple machines. Thanks. Bye.